Here is a quick video tutorial on how to balance your All Steady 6 gimbal. First I'm going to show you the three axes that you have to worry about and next I'll show you how to balance it. So this is your tilt axis here, tilt motor. There are two axes that you have to balance uh, for this one. Forward and back is the horizontal, up and down is the vertical. Next would be the roll axis back here. It's a very simple adjustment with these four screws. And finally, the pan axis. You can't forget this one up here. Uh, another very simple adjustment. So to get started, you want to take your camera and you want to have the lens that you're going to be using. Set the zoom on this one. You can see when I zoom out, it puts a lot more weight on the front. So I typically like to shoot on a wider mode. So I'm going to balance it uh, on the 24. And you also want to make sure you have the battery in, um, any filters, uh, the SD card, anything you're going to have on the camera when you're using it, you want to make sure you have it on when you balance it. So I'll start with the quarter 20 tripod screw and we'll simply mount it. doesn't have to be too snug at first, just enough to hold it. So you can see, first thing I'm going to balance is the tilt axis. It's falling quite a bit forward, so I need to move it backwards. And for now, that's good because I want to next go to the vertical tilt axis before I get the horizontal tilt axis. Uh, perfect. So to do that, the simplest way is to just bring the lens up straight up like this and uh, just gently let go, see where it happens. It's falling downwards, so that means um, I'm too bottom heavy and I'll need to bring these both up. So to do that, I'll hold it with the lens still vertical and just loosen these up just, to, just enough to where this uh, will be able to slide. And a little trick is to hold it by this motor here and once you have it loose you can actually just pick it up by the lens a little bit and uh, slide it around. Just make sure you have them all nice and loose. And we'll bring it up for the, the big movement. There we go. It seems pretty good. So next you need to make sure that they are lined up. That's what the uh, the ruler guide on the side here is very helpful. Make sure that they line up on both sides. Okay. Now you want to make sure they're nice and snug tighter the better. If you know you're going to be only using this camera, you may want to use a tool just to get it really snug so that you know it will never move. I change cameras a lot, so finger tight is just fine. So now I'm going to finish the horizontal tilt axis. I'm going to loosen up this bottom screw and bring it forward just a little bit and back till I get it just right. So that seems pretty good. And just be careful when you tighten it down. Sometimes it can pull it back a little bit, but it seems like I got it pretty good there. So now to final check this horizontal tilt axis. Make sure it's nice and snug here before we go any further. There we go. You're just going to want to take the lens and bring it back and let go. And see how it stays there? That's good. That means it's fully balanced. Try it again forward. Perfect. So I don't need to make any more adjustments to the tilt axis. I just want to make sure that I get my hot shoe mount in there. Kind of did some pre-adjustments here, but this one's pretty easy. You can see uh, to bring it up and down, it's with these screws here, left and right with this one here. And I just need to come down a little bit, so I'll loosen this one. Bring it back. 
once I have it in there, just not too tight on top. Just make sure it's nice and snug on the bottom. And then get that one down. So there we have it. Now the camera is really well fixed into place. And you can see it, it, it got it a little bit front heavy while doing that. Because when I tightened it down, it probably pushed this lens forward a little bit. So we'll try and make just a simple adjustment here. Pull this back. And there we have it. So just be careful while you're putting the cold shoe mount in. Okay, so now that I've tightened the hot shoe mount, I've tightened this quarter 20 down below, and I know that my tilt axis is perfectly balanced. I'm gonna to move to the roll axis. So you can see it's drifting towards me here. So I'll have to loosen these screws up and push it that way. So I'm gonna loosen the top ones up a little bit first, and then the bottom. And when you push it over, a uh, quick tip is you can grab the tray, the upper tray here with your hands, and use your thumb up here, and just take some of the weight off the joint, and scooch it over. And we'll just keep moving it until I get it just right. It's not leaning one way or the other. Oh, it's a little too far to that side now, so we'll bring it back. And just very fine movements is the key. So once I have it in place, you wanna make sure you grab it like this and take some of the weight off and tighten the top ones down first. It's gonna help uh, make sure that these bars stay parallel to the ground. So make sure the top ones are nice and snug and get the bottom ones. Okay, once you have the roll axis nice and tight, you can check it again. Just to the left, it should stay there. And again, it should stay like that. If you're having it, if it's drift, if you're moving it to the left over here and it's drifting back to center, that means it's a little bottom heavy still. So it's either a problem with your vertical tilt, so you can test that, um, or you need to go back and tighten these top ones again by lifting up with this tray. So once again, if it's perfectly balanced, it should just stay exactly where it is. So that looks really good. Next I'm going to move to the pan axis. This is the final axis to balance. So to check this one, you're just going to want to bring this uh, gimbal over to the side here and then take it by the handles and pull it up this way. And notice how it swings backwards really quickly. That means that it's really back heavy and uh, I'll want to push it forward. So make sure you have the battery plugged in as well here like I didn't. Even the little things like this, you want to make sure that the gimbal is set up exactly how you're going to be using it. And of course make sure there is a battery in there as well. It's important. So again, so since I brought it up and it swung backwards, you can kind of tell just intuitively that the back end is a little heavy. So I'm just going to loosen these up, these four screws, just a little bit. And move it forward. And before you tighten them, you can check it again. And it's still a little back heavy. So I'll push it forward a little bit more. And you're just going to want to keep going back and forth until you get it just right. And just watch out for this cable right here while you're pushing it forward because it can put a little bit of tension. So make sure you get it, it's not sliding back when you're checking. And 
That's pretty close. Let's try it again this way. And it seems like I've got it pretty much dialed in. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten these down again. Okay, so now that I have everything nice and snug, gimbal is fully balanced. So again, I'm going to show you just how to check to make sure that the gimbal is balanced. And that's it for balancing the Allsteady 6 video. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to email us or contact us via YouTube. We also have our phone number for technical support down below. So go ahead and give us a call if you're having trouble. Uh, but I hope this video helps you guys out. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty easy gimbal to balance.